Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Uh, this is Nellie and this is a special session for those of you that are taking the Moodle MOOC 4 Moodle 2.6 workshop and would like to have uh, a little bit of a hand. So I'm here to help. If you could just add in the chat box where you're from and anything else you'd like to add, feel free to use the chat box as we go as a way for you to uh, engage and learn. I, I love the workshop. I mean, the uh, chat box, I use it like I would in a workshop. It allows me to connect with the presenter and to get my ideas across as I write. And in many cases, uh, distract the presenters, which I don't mean to do. But that's what the uh, chat box is about. It's about um, learning and sharing as we listen to the presenters. So we've got China, currently in China. That's great. That means that this time is good for China. I hope uh, I try to vary the time so that we get everyone involved. It seems that um, China and the Far East are uh, away from most of these sessions because uh, the times are uh, geared for the North American and South American as well as uh, for the European audience. So I hope you don't get left out. All right, so this is a chance for you to ask questions as we go. So far in uh, the Moodle MOOC, we have uh, four presenters tomorrow. And um, the closing ceremony. Okay, so Vivian, oh, you are? Viviana is in Argentina. All right. So uh, let's get started a little bit about uh, who I am. For those of you who don't know, I um, am considered one of the uh, e-learning experts in the world, apparently. I only found out at the Ed Media in, um, in uh, Finland that uh, I am. I didn't know that, but apparently I'm known for... Um, the work that I do in online teaching. Today we're going to uh, focus on, let me just get that there, we're going to focus on the blocks. That's uh, the final area that uh, we talk about in Moodle 2.6. How many of you uh, have been following the Moodle training sessions on Moodle for Teachers Moodle website. You just give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or Satan words. Just starting. Okay, it's not too late to start. It'll be open and available. The next one will be starting in October if you want to start with others. But you can work on your own. Uh, there's still people there that are working, but it won't be as active as... Um, when we start off the Moodle MOOC. We have Moodle MOOC sessions three times a year, and that's when you can get free Moodle training. If you want to have your own Moodle training area and course, you can also have that throughout the year so you can practice. All right, so um, a little bit about the blocks. Moodle is divided into activities, resources, and blocks. Now, blocks are not for teachers. There are three roles, major roles, on, in a Moodle website. One is the admin, which means that uh, you have full rights. The other one is uh, manager rights. And the third one is teacher editing rights. Now, teachers don't get all the rights because of the administration. The schools don't give them rights, but if you have your own Moodle, you can be the administrator and then you have full rights. How many of you teach uh, in an organization that uses Moodle?
If you teach an org, no, you don't. If you teach an organization, you're limited. But if you're going to teach online and you'd like to make a living teaching online through Moodle, you can do that. And then you can have someone be the administrator of your Moodle and you can simply manage it. It's quite easy to manage. Uh, you just have to create courses and teach. And um, that's about it. Okay, so let's go to the beginning of the slides. Okay, that's just a little introduction that I've gone through. Uh, this is an example of how we are always learning as teachers. Even when we speak from the podium, we are learning. And I think that's what's great about teaching, that it offers us a chance to learn, which is why we should get our students to do the teaching because after all, it's about their learning. So we can become active learners when we teach. And these were some of the participants who practiced as teachers, but they were there to learn to Moodle. These are also examples of connecting for learning because that's what we do. We experience learning 24-7, wherever we are, with technology, without technology, face-to-face, -face, online, we are always experiencing learning, which is why it's important to reflect so that we can sustain what we learn. You will have a chance to reflect on every part of the Moodle teacher training courses. And let me share some of the things that you will be doing. Okay, there are the questions that you will be reflecting on. Now I'm going to screen share and take you to the blocks on the mood. Okay, but before we get started, are there any questions? If you've never used Moodle before, if this is your first time, uh, please ask one question that you feel will help you get started. Okay, so what's one question you would like to ask? If you could add that in the chat box and I'll try to uh, relate to it. Just one question. And then you can have many questions, of course. But just to get us started, where to start? Great. That's a wonderful question. Perfect. All right. So let's take it one at a time. The session is for you. It's always for the student. Okay. The student is always the one. Okay, so that's the same question, Anna. All right, so this is where you should go. It's called moodleforteachers.org. Okay, there's the link. And the first thing you need to do is create an account. Now, that's not easy because you will be asked to confirm your email. Because Moodle works like that. It works, it's email based, and every time someone or you add anything, you get notified. Okay, so if you've just joined, we're starting at the very beginning. And if you could add a question in the chat box about Moodle, because you are going to take the Moodle training for teachers okay so it's moodle for teachers free training okay it's completely free no catch the idea is for us to help one another and teachers do offer help to their students but they also deserve help so i'm your teacher to help you uh, learn to Moodle for free so that you can teach your students online in blended and in the flipped class and so that you can also make money teaching online because I think 
uh, we should be helping one another. And as I said, this is my way of helping you. So if you have a question, those who just join now, just add any question. Every question is perfect because it's your question. Okay, I'm going to be screen sharing. And I'm going to get rid of my uh, webcam, okay, to make it. If you find that the connection goes down for you, you can also stop my webcam and then your connection will be much faster. Right now, I'm initializing the screen sharing apparatus on WizIQ. I'm on a Mac, which means that um, I have a system that forces me to accept Java. If you're using a PC, you can download and use the WizIQ desktop, and then you don't have to go through what I'm going through. Okay, so um, are you ready? Just let me know in the chat box if you're ready for a screen share. Okay, the smiley is your area for the thumbs up. By the way, WizIQ is an activity on the Moodle. You can schedule classes and teach in Moodle. Okay, so you can teach synchronously through WizIQ. You have delay. That's okay. If you have delay, I will go at your pace. I'm also recording this on YouTube without uh, the attendee list and without the chat box, so you'll be able to get this as well. So feel free to use the chat box all the time. You may find the chat box has dropped to the bottom left, so pop it in and you can have the chat box in the middle. You can make it larger, and I will show you how that is done. Okay, I'm going to pop out the chat and show you how I can make it larger. Okay, there, so that, can you see this? I can also uh, change the font to 16, change the color, okay, and then I can write. Can you see the screen being shared? Okay, so, and there I can get a smiley and put a face there. Okay, you'll be able to, then I can pop it in and it'll go right back. All right, so great. All right, so I'm going to go to uh, Moodle. Okay, this is the Moodle for Teachers. You'll have to create an account and then I will be able to confirm that you created an account. Okay, so I'm going to go in right now, not as a site administrator, but I'm going to go in Okay, as you. So when you go in, this is what you see. Okay, and then you will need to create an account. Forget the top here. Scroll down. Okay, and you get the course categories before you log in. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Moodle MOOCs right here. There are 12 courses. This is where the courses will be. Okay, there's um, Moodle MOOC 4 for beginners and for non-beginners. And this is where you can get your certificate, okay, for the webinars. There are two areas for teachers. One is the managers where you can see the blocks and one is the teacher practice area. So let's first of all go into the beginners. Okay, so this is Moodle MOOC for beginners. Okay, let me add the link in the chat box. 
Okay, so here's the link in the chat box to Moodle MOOC for beginners. Okay, hello, Brenna. Let me go back. All right, now I am in as the admin, so I'm going to go in, switch my role so that we will both see the same thing. Okay, now I'm in as a student. Okay, this is what you will see. You will see tabs. Start here, week one, introduction. Okay, these are tabs in the course. Week one. And then you have different things. Okay, you see all these icons? You see a book. You have to read the book from beginning to the end. And then here's another book. And here's a support form. Okay, this is just an introduction to the course. And then there's the introduction where you will be able to introduce yourself. But first, there's a book on how to introduce you. And then the introduction. Okay, this is a discussion form. There's the icon for it. So you click on that. Every introduction or every discussion form is the same. You click on add a new topic. And then you'll get this. Would you like to log in with a full user account? If you want to go in, you need to click on continue and create an account. Okay, here you create an account. If you have an account, you log in. So I'm going to log in with my password and hope it's correct. If I if you forget your password, you can do that. Okay, and then I wait a few seconds. Okay, and then look what happens. You see the red asterisk? That means you have to add the subject line. So I'm going to add me. And then I'm going to add the message. Notice that there's only one line here in the editor. I'll click on toolbar toggle and I now have three sections. Okay, now I can introduce myself by text, say hello to everyone, and then introduce myself. Or I can introduce myself through a recorder. I can record my voice or through a webcam. So let me record. This is how we recorded ourselves because we had one blind student at the conference. So it was very important to record. So your voice is very important. You don't know who your students are. They may be challenged. So here I'm going to introduce myself. Hello, this is Nelly, and I'm recording myself. Okay, you can see the bar going here. I'm going to stop and listen. And it's a chipmunk, which means that I have to do it again. Okay, so I will record myself again. The reason a chipmunk is because I'm, um, right now, I'm using my voice already. So notice here, I can subscribe when I write something. Send me email copies of posts to this form or not. I don't want emails. I can also add a file and mail now. Okay, and I post to form, post to form, and then I wait, and here is my hello to everyone. Notice I can edit for 30 minutes or delete it. Now, in order to get points, I need to respond to everybody. You can see here's uh, an introduction from Percy. And he wrote the introduction in English and in Spanish. He also added a photo, which is really kind. And other people also responded to him. And I can see their responses by clicking on Discuss This Topic. 
Oops, I see that I'm out. Let me add myself back in. Okay, looks like I was there. Okay, I'm back. So there we are. And here you can reply to him by clicking on reply and then you can add. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice photo. Nice to meet you. I love the photo that you added. You need to respond to at least one person in order and mail now in order to get points. And you get points. Once you do everything, you will get a badge. Okay, so there I responded. All right, so let's go back to the course. Now I go back to the course by going from right to left. There's the course, there's the introduction. It's Moodle for teachers, beginners. Okay, then I go through all of these things until the end. Okay, if I do all the assignments correctly, I get four badges. Okay, so follow it through and you'll get your badge. I will be there to support you. Okay, and let's go to the blocks. Okay, the blocks is week four. And you need to go to the block area. Okay, Moodle block area. Once you register, you automatically are enrolled in the block area. However, I will need to give you full manager rights. In the block area, you need to click on Turn Editing On. And then you see all of this. What you basically see are the blocks. Okay, there are lots of blocks. Okay, you can see how many. You will practice using each of these blocks and document your work. I'm going to go back to class now so I can see if there are any questions and see if I can help. All right, so I'm back. I think I lost my audio at some point here. Sorry about that. It happens sometimes that the audio goes down to zero. Okay, the audio should be back now. Sorry about that. Um, don't know why I lost my audio, but I did. The audio should be back now. Let's see if it's back. No, it keeps going down. Isn't that interesting? Uh, sometimes disappears. Sorry about that. So you lost audio. All right. So I'm back and the audio is back. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's been a long day. You're right. Okay. So let's get back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's get back to, um, there we go. Let's, uh, to your connections. All right. How many of you created an account? Okay, let's uh, let me share that with you again. There's the course for beginners. Okay, did you create an account? Give me a thumbs up if you created an account or a thumbs up if you have an account. Okay, really important. So Maria has an account in the beginners, Maria. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Just created one, Breno. Very good. Excellent. Effie, do you have an account? You may also join the Moodle MOOC so we can stay connected. Okay, there it is. Okay, very good. That's Maha, isn't it? I'm not sure I don't read Arabic. <laughs> Maybe I guessed right. Oh, I see Effie just left us. Okay, the link, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the Moodle MOOC area. Let me get that link again to the beginners class.
You can also copy the chat. Let's see if I got that. Yes. Okay, there it is again. That's the beginner's class. The Moodle training. Okay, I just want to make sure that everybody has a uh, an account. So just let me know if you've got an account. It's really important for you to realize that um, asking questions is really, really important. Let me stop sharing the screen. Really, really important because teaching online can be overwhelming. It doesn't have to be. So if you have questions, ask them. Don't ever feel like um, you know, the question is maybe unnecessary. It's really, really important. All right, so everybody's registered, I presume. The blocks are a way to, um, to learn, and I'm going to share with you a YouTube video of someone who had done it. Yes, I am at home. My course is excellent. That's it. Very good, Breno. All right, so let's take a look at what the participants do in the course. Okay, they become teachers, and you will become t a teacher too, and as they learn about the different Moodle features. Okay, so I'm going to show this video. Hello, everybody. I'm Isabel, and I'm here again. Uh, in community practice area. My uh, turning editing button is uh, on and uh, I wa I'm going to practice uh, with blogs uh, on Moodle. Okay, if you want uh, to add a blog, you go here, uh, you open the window and you can uh, add uh, some blogs. For instance, uh, blog. Um, Hello, everybody. I'm Isabel, and I'm here again uh, in community practice area. My uh, turning editing button is uh, on, and uh, I will, I'm going to practice uh, with blogs uh, on model. Okay. Okay. If you want uh, to add a blog, you go here. Uh, you open the window and you can uh, add uh, some blogs. For instance, uh, blog um, messages blog to show here appears uh, different uh, groups uh, or different people with uh, the message uh, uh, to read. Okay, okay, another one. The blog, for instance, uh, about okay. people. This blog, we knew this blog because mm -hmm. we used to. Okay. Uh, to, mm. to write entries. You can use this, this blog, blog uh, to show uh, the participants my, here in Moodle or to make uh, or groups or uh, and so on. Entry. Another one, um, for instance. Um, a block menu, a block menu, okay. This block, we knew this block because we used okay. to so on. Uh, to one. to write entries on this block. For instance, here, For instance, here are my my, my entries. My okay, the, this was my first entry. Well. Mm. Here appears badges if you if you have uh, okay okay and um, and so on uh, another one uh, uh, well I I'm going for to instance uh, my late uh, my latest uh, badges one mm -hmm. Can be 
Okay. okay. Right here appears badges if you if you have. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to delete uh, these blocks. Oh, well, I, I'm going to add another one. Uh, for instance, um, another one. Uh, it can be um, search forums. And I'm going to change uh, the configure, conf configure, I conf configure, please. Uh, okay, and I'm going to change the position. Not right, uh, left. Okay, and this is my left, my latest, and uh, uh, left. Yeah. Okay, left. Uh, Save change. Changes. I'm going to search a block and I'm going to check. Okay, go. What's the matter? There's okay, and this is my my latest uh, block. Uh, for instance, well, um, uh, I think that's all. Uh, that's I all. I'm going to search uh, a block. I, so I understood uh, about blocks or model, but I have to to practice or uh, okay. go to, to find uh, more mm. about. Well, okay. Um, uh, this There's not pause in this forum. Forum. Uh, well, um, I think that's all. Uh, that's all. Uh, I think I. Okay, that's an example. I understood. Okay, let me get rid of that. uh, that's an example of what participants Muda, do. But I have on, to um, to practice in the course. or uh, they to, uh, not only to, learn to find, but they uh, practice. More. And not only practice, they also document the process, uh, how they do it. And um, she uh, used screen, screencast-o-matic, which is completely free. Screencast-o-matic, okay, which is a free program, dot com. Oh, you couldn't see the video. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me share the video with you. Are you able to get YouTube or is there a problem uh, with YouTube, uh, Viviana? Okay, let me go into the course so I can uh, share it with you. Okay, this um, is in the course and if you registered in the course, you will be able to see this under week four, the blocks, and in the response area. Okay, and uh, this is Isabel. Her response, she's got two responses actually, and the YouTube video. Let me share that with you. All the videos are actually in the uh, playlist there is a playlist and you might want to uh, get the playlist okay let me share this with you her video and i'll share the playlist with you for the for the course for moodle mooc 4 with you okay there's her video and um, this is where she added her video in this discussion form if you go into the course, you'll be able to go into, if you join the course, of course, enroll in the course, you'll be able to go there. But um, let me also take you to the playlist. The playlist for Moodle MOOC 4, where you can get everything. Okay, so uh, let me share the link with you. 
Okay, there is the link. Okay, I'll just write link to Moodle MOOC 4 playlist. And you can subscribe. There we go. Okay. So the first thing to do is to join the beginner's course so that you can follow it step by step. Now for questions. Okay, you've asked questions at the beginning. Now another question. I see that we've got some more participants. Uh, Mohammed, welcome. We're talking about Moodle for Teachers uh, training, free training for beginners and non-beginners. And we're also talking about Moodle MOOC 4, which happens in the month of June and July. Uh, we have these uh, Moodle MOOCs three times a year in June, October, and February. In addition to the Moodle uh, for Teacher training for managers, teachers, and students, we also have presenters. You can get a certificate for only reflecting on the live presentations like this one, or you can get us badges for the activities, the tasks that you do on the Moodle. So now for questions. You should all join the WizIQ Moodle MOOC 4, where you can also ask questions. So far we have almost 3,000 participants. Every question is good. Even if you think, well, I wasn't here at the beginning. How can I ask a question? You can. That's the idea. The idea behind online learning is that it's learning. And asking questions is a very important part. You're not in a big classroom. And your question is worth a million. It's worth everything because it's yours. And it is about learning. It's not about information, but about your gaining everything that you need. So feel free to ask again another question. Again, even if you came in late, it makes no difference. Your question is very, very important. Lopez, you'll try. No, you're not leaving until you join. Okay, so please join the, uh, the course for beginners. Let me get the link for you again. Okay, we're talking about uh, Moodle MOOC and the free Moodle training. If you have problems, any problem, with um, creating an account, please email me and I will help. It's my Moodle, so uh, I have full editing rights and I can do anything I want, which means that I can even enroll you and I can create an account for you. Oh, you were a user. Okay, you are a user now. Okay, so join the course. And if you have any problems, please email me. I'm easy to get hold of. You can find me anywhere, everywhere. Okay, there's my email. Every question is an excellent question. And it's a smart question. So, okay, there's my email. Now, before we go, and I want to thank you for joining me. Please go to copy chat. There's a copy chat. Um, go into Smiley and give me a thumbs up if you see the copy chat. If you do not see the copy chat, give me a thumbs down. And if you don't see the thumbs down, you can write. Okay, so Viviana, please copy the chat so you have all the information. You can paste the chat in an email in a Word document. You can paste it anywhere on Facebook. Um, 
you can't do it on Twitter because it's too long. So copy the chat and paste it for yourself anywhere on a blog, okay, so that you can get the links and link on them. Okay, what about the rest of you? Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, yes, no, Mohammed. Uh, copy the chat. Lopez, Marta, did I miss anyone? And I don't read Arabic, so I'm not sure whether that's Maha. It's one, Anna, one step at a time. Yes, I was out for a moment. Yes, you can view all the classes by using the same link that brought you here, Anna. The same link. But I suggest, Anna, that you copy the chat so you can also get the information and the links and click on them, okay? So this will become a recording in about an hour or so, sometimes less. And thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining. I'll copy the chat, too, so I can put it for you to view in the course area on WizIQ. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Please email me. Okay, so let me write my email again. It's nellydeutsch at gmail.com. Very easy. Nelly, N-E-L-L-I-E, -L -L -E, Deutsch, like Deutschland, D-E-U-T-S-C-H, at gmail.com. Okay, and you have that there. Have a great week, everyone. Bye for now. Thank you.